worst of the rains is potentially left to come. Southern California is bracing for more rain as Hillary makes her mark as the first tropical storm to hit the area in nearly a century. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Natasha Brown in for Jim Donovan today. After pounding Southern California Sunday and other parts of the Southwest, the remnants of Tropical Storm Hillary are still posing serious risks today. Forecasters warn more flash flooding is possible. Max Darrow reports now from Las Vegas. As dawn broke in Palm Springs, California Monday, residents woke up to floodwaters rushing through roads after Hillary dumped half of the city's annual rainfall in just a few hours. The first tropical storm to hit Southern California in more than 80 years brought lashing winds and heavy rainfall to a region much more accustomed to drought. As the floodwaters rose quickly in Victorville, California, Juan Pfeiffer and his mother decided to leave for higher ground. All that started within an hour or two and then just kept piling up, up, and the water keeps coming further back up the street. The storm has already triggered mud and rock slides like this one in Sheep Canyon, California. That is all avalanche debris. In Los Angeles, where the storm flooded freeways, schools are closed today. As you know, sometimes damage can occur in the hours and days after a storm hits. So Angelinos should continue to stay vigilant. And it wasn't just California. Floodwaters from Hillary gushed through this casino parking lot in Las Vegas. Here along the Las Vegas Strip, the worst seems to be over. The storm has been downgraded, and the National Hurricane Center expects it to dissipate later today. Nevada's governor had called up the National Guard ahead of the storm. And in Yuma, Arizona, 60 mile an hour winds knocked down trees and power lines, leaving parts of the city without electricity. Max Darrow, CBS News, Las Vegas.